Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Styles by Morgan. So as you can see by the title, we've got a three in one, get ready with me. This is my first time doing a video like this. So my husband and I are going on a movie date tonight. So I'm gonna be getting ready with you guys. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I installed this gorgeous ponytail from Love Me Hair, as well as how I did my makeup and my outfit. As always, I'm gonna leave all of the details on this gorgeous hair in the description box for you guys. Let's get right into the video guys. So shout out to Love Me Hair, you guys know i love working with them so so much they were kind enough to send me super cute ponytail for this look and trust me when you guys see it y'all are gonna love it just as much as i do so as usual it comes in the signature purple love me hair box so inside we've got a little card that tells you all about the hair how to maintain the hair and take care of it so this is a super cute kinky ponytail here's the ponytail so cute don't y'all love like the highlights i'm so into color right now as you see it's like a very dark brown and then we've got some highlights in here so cute so pretty and i don't know the exact length of this hair but it's long just know it is long sis so i'm starting off with freshly washed hair i washed it yesterday all right so first thing i'm gonna do is just kind of wet my hair a bit in the front so it's a little bit easier to manage so now i'm just gonna start brushing it in the direction that i want it to go And then I'm gonna go in with my Eco Style Gel, the olive oil one. This is like the go to for me. And I'm just gonna start using that to slick back my hair. So once I've got the bun where I want it, I usually take like two hair ties so it's extra tight. And I'm just gonna start pulling my hair through it. And again, just brushing it. Um, you can use like a Denman brush if you want. I'm just using this little paddle brush just to get any like little lumps out of my hair. My arms are killing me. Ooh, this is a whole workout. Like so now once I feel like it's slick enough and it looks the way I want it, it's positioned where I want it. Now I'm gonna go in and finally really secure the bun. So right now what I'm gonna do is separate this puff in half and do two small braids. So now that I've got my two little braids, I'm just gonna try and kind of twist them together and make a little bun. Once I've got that, I'm gonna use another hair tie and secure it. And this is what I've got. This is as small as I could get my hair. So this is gonna work for today. <laughs> So I'm gonna use a little bit of the Got To Be Glued Spray and I just use this around the perimeter of my hair to make sure I don't have like flyaways coming up later. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of that. And just brush it back. And I'm gonna go in with my Black Label Tresses Edge Control and just lay my baby hairs a little bit. Then I'm gonna go over my edges with a little bit more got to be spray and then I'm gonna tie it down with my satin scarf. So this is the construction of the ponytail. We've got a little comb right here that goes right into the top of your bun. Um, and then around the top, we've got a Velcro strap. And then there's also another little piece that's used to wrap your ponytail and it also has Velcro. So what I'm gonna do is place the comb right at the top of my bun, and then I'm gonna use this piece to wrap it around and then secure it. And this little piece is gonna make sure that the actual Velcro strap is undetectable. Once we bobby pin that around and it's secure, 
that is our ponytail done of course you can leave it like this you can straighten it you can curl it whatever you like but i actually really love the texture that it's in this kinky straight i think it's so pretty since my hair is natural right now i'm not going to straighten it because this matches best with my hair so yeah i think it's so pretty love it and our edges are laid oh, all this pony is cute so to add a little bit more glam, I'm gonna throw on this headband. It's like a gold rhinestone headband from my brand, Outlash London. We sell cosmetics and accessories. So if you like this headband, make sure you shop with me. So I'm just gonna put it on right on top and look how much more put together I look just with one little accessory. Like, it's definitely giving. So now we're gonna move on to makeup. Um, there are some new products that I'm trying out today that I've ordered. So first, I'm just gonna go through and do my brows with my brow pomade, also from my line Outlash London, and I'm using the shade Chocolate. All right, so my brows are done. Um, really simple, I don't really go crazy with my brows. Like I just like to shape them and that's it. Natural brows over here. So I'm actually trying a new foundation from Juvia's Place and I went on a limb and I ordered it online. I didn't ever try this on before, but I just did like the little online shade match. So I'm trying Havana 420. This is supposed to be equivalent to like MAC in T45. Hopefully it matches, it looks like it does. Looks good so far. Then I'm also using this foundation brush from Juvia's Place as well. Oh yeah, this is a great, a great match for me. It's a really, really pretty light coverage and of course it's buildable and it matches me really well. So if you're MAC NC45, um then this shade might work for you as well and i really like this foundation brush it's really good and then i'm just concealing again with my cool tan concealer and this is the concealer that i'm trying i like a really bright under eye so hopefully this isn't too bright but this is in the shade or the number 16. Then I'm just gonna bake a little bit with my favorite setting prop, that with my favorite, what? <laughs> I don't know what language I'm speaking. I'm going to set now with my favorite setting powder. It's the Huda Beauty Blondie Powder. And y'all know I love this stuff. Like, this is the GOAT. While that's baking, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of eyeshadow. Honestly, I'm not really big on eyeshadow, but I really like the Jackie Aina palette. So I'm going in with the shade Ginger and just putting that on my lid just to give my lid a tiny bit of color. And then for lashes, I'm wearing my Berlin lashes from my line Outlash London as well. These are some of my favorite, favorite everyday lashes. And then glue also from Outlash London. If y'all haven't shopped with me and you've been subscribed to my channel, what's really going on? Like, support your girl, support your sis. How pretty is that lash, guys? So cute, right? It's the difference. It's the lash difference for me. So I'm gonna go back in with the ABH um, Jackie Aina palette and I'm gonna use a little bit of the shade Soleil. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. This is also my first time using this mascara as well. If you guys wanna know, If you guys want to know where all my money is going it's to makeup i'm going to use the curl and lengthen side and i'm going to use that on my bottom lashes so i'm going in with this juvia's place bronzer palette and this is in the shade tan 
If you're asking why I'm using so much Juvia's Place, I really took advantage of that Juneteenth sale. So I'm just gonna use this darker shade to contour a little bit. And now I'm using a little bit of blush and this is the Bella brush also from Juvia's Place. This look is cute, honey. I'm annoying. <laughs> and now I'm going in with the NYX Butter Gloss and this is in the shade Praline. I think I'm gonna use a tiny bit of that same shade I used as a highlight on my Cupid's bow, just a little tiny bit. And then lastly, we're going in with our Makeup Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. This is like some of the best setting sprays that I've come across. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Finished makeup look, super cute. Finished pony, hair is done. Absolutely love it. So now let's move on to outfit. So for our date, we're just doing a simple little dinner and movie date. So I didn't want to wear anything that was like, you know, too much. I'm not wearing a dress or nothing like that. But I still wanted to get, you know, just a little bit dressed up. So I'm wearing a really cute nude bodysuit that I got from Zara. This was in one of my first Zara hauls a while back. So if you guys are OGs, you will remember this top. I really love it. It's so cute, very feminine. And I just think it's a perfect little date night piece. And then the pants I'm wearing are these leather detail leggings. These are from Fashion Nova. Also from my Fashion Nova haul, the last one that I did. And I really love these leggings. I really love these leggings because they're so comfortable. They're so cute and you can literally pair them with so many different pieces. I'm wearing these really pretty nude mules that I got from PLT. I love these because they are so extremely comfortable. This is a color that I wear a lot. So I really was like, I need these shoes because they can go with almost any outfit. The bag that I have is a really cute leather Zara bag and it's so pretty. It actually holds quite a lot. Um, I don't really carry much with me to be honest when I'm out, but this is a really big bag. You can fit a lot of things in it. And I really like this chain detailing, They're very, very pretty. So yes, that's the end of today's video. I really hope y'all enjoyed this three in one get ready with me. Thank you again to Love Me Hair for sponsoring this video. And I'm obsessed with this pony. Um, I know you guys are gonna love it too. So I'm gonna leave the discount code that I have for you guys on the screen, as well as the direct link to this hair in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe guys. Come on, we are on the road to 1K. If you are watching this video right now, and if you get to this part, if you see this part, just subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment for me, and if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.